Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. Seek you too much here. Back at it again, not with Aegon the Conqueror, who died too much drinking, but rather with his oldest son, High Storm Singer Arion the Evil. And before we get started, guys, please do remember to like and subscribe. I am about 340 subscribers away from being monetized. So if you want to help out my channel, the best way you can do that is by subscribing. And if you want to support me further, please do check out my Patreon in the description below. But here we are. So on the last episode, after having to kill his son for probably killing his brother and trying to steal his son's throne in Dorne. Aegon, uh, I think he just had too much. Uh, you know, he's been possessed by evil spirits um, after tapping into a lot of the magic that was afforded to him as the leader of this religion through dark divination, through blood sacrifices. Maybe it was too much. I like to think that maybe part of his old self was trapped inside his body. and He just couldn't help himself. Uh, and the, you know, drinking was the only way he could unwind. But very interesting. And now I can know the truth. Did he kill Aria? Did he kill Aria? No. Really? Okay. I thought that he was the one that assassinated her. Very interesting. Um, also very interesting. Aegon killing his son caused his granddaughter, or I guess, yeah, Aegon's granddaughter, who was my heir's uh, daughter, to die of depression because she gave birth to a stillborn. So needless to say, after all these deaths and assassinations and plotting, we are down to not that many Targaryens, only nine. So we might have to pump out these babies. Um, my wife is 32. And she's lustful, but she really hasn't pumped out. She's only given me one daughter. My other wife, Prunella, uh, has given me much more children. And then my uh, my daughter, who I'm not going to be marrying, uh, is going to you're going to marry her to someone else. In fact, uh, yeah. Let me go ahead, and I will look for a new wife, a third wife, to help me pump out these babies. Oh, that would be interesting. Uh, I think I'll get someone who's Unlanded, though. Uh, I think that'll be a better choice. Preferably the same religion. Honestly, I think I'll wait for this for later. Maybe I'll get one of my vassals, but okay. Um, so Aegon obviously does not have a very good legacy. I'm curious how my opinion will be compared to his. Oof, okay, still pretty bad. For example, let's take... Uh, Miss Lady Mina one-handed from Coxel went. Why does she hate me? Opinion of predecessor is the biggest reason. She wants the kingdom of the reach, and I'm a tyrant. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at this guy. He is cruel, proud, but he's also very religious and hardworking, and he knows his stuff. He's has he's bookish. And he's also a little social. Uh, honestly, he sounds he sounds like one of those people that you maybe know who is like super into politics or something or history or something. So maybe he comes off the wrong way. Um, but OK, I think we're going to downplay a gun. We could make a big spectacle of it, but I think that Aegon has obviously had a big legacy on our on the Westeros. He's changed it forever. But I don't think people want to remember him, especially in his final years. And Valerion has established a lair. I wonder if maybe we can get him back into the dragon pit. But okay, my dragon, Malar, is not an old dragon. And will not be as OP as uh, Valerion. So what's the deal here? There's a war against the tyranny. Any chance we could get a white piece? No. Okay, I also need to do something about the reach. All right, my sister uh, was the one who actually ended up with that title. And actually, I probably still have the veil too, don't I? Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I could use this opportunity to complete the Valerianization. Unlike Aegon, 
Arion is a zealot. So he fervently believes um, in this religion. But I don't know if we're going to have the political capital to get this done. So we might have to make it like a temporary fix. Do I have any land, any land, any land, anywhere in the reach? No. Would anyone accept the revocation like outright? Oh, I almost clicked it by accident. What about the Belmore? No, it doesn't look like anyone would out and out accept it. Oh, she would. Maybe in... Pr All right, well, you know what? Let's see if we can uh, finish the war without any incident. I'm going to go ahead and give you Peckledon. Um, uh, yeah, you can take the l lower titles too, I guess. Eccleton, yeah. Um, does this have a high lordship? Oh, yeah, oh, the Golden Road. That's right. So I'll go ahead and give him that high title of uh, Bezoff Ahon, which apparently means Golden Road. And we also have Ox Cross, which is uh, right here, and Casterly Rock as well. So I think I'll go ahead and give my heir um, the Westerlands. Or I'll give him the High Lordship of Casterly Rock. Let's leave it that way. And that'll help me a little bit. So I'll make him the new lord of what you call oh my god i also have the stormlands wow okay i will also give my other son melee's that title i guess uh so i will go ahead and give him shipbreaker bay yeah that'll also help reduce my vassals a little bit okay i won't be able to de-valerianize these guys or valerianize these guys but maybe the other ones i can Okay, so let's go ahead and where is he at exactly? He's a Valerian. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, very high chance of assassination. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go end this right now. So we're just going to send them to Casterly Rock and put an end to this. Uh, all right. So many small folk and bandits are causing trouble, and there's a lot of challengers to my rule. So we're in for a rough ride, boys and girls. Yep, here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, oh, no, no, he has failed. Oh, he sided with the rebels. Interesting. So he's joining the tyranny. And we will see what everyone else does. Looks like some people are staying out of it. God, you're still here? Uh, Egon did his... The Riverlands has been, like, the most problematic... When it comes to Valerianization. Uh, ooh. So, the ancient bank of Karth wants me to pay back my father's debts. Well, that would kind of F us and may lead us to being assassinated. Um, I don't see any real reason why he would say no. Okay, in five years, so I can do that. All right, and my nephew's going to go from Dorne. He's going to pick up the, the call. Oh, well, let me go ahead and I will fill my council. I need a good Master of Whispers. I'll give that to my wife. She looks like she can handle it. Master of Arms. Sure, let's get a Tarly in there. Hand of the King. Uh, Definitely not the High Septon. Um, maybe this guy. He holds High Garden. And then a position, yeah. I guess my sister wasn't as uh, religious, you know? I don't think she really cared as much about this kind of stuff. She was humble and patient and social, but also kind of devious. So uh, she was perfectly fine giving away chips like that. Uh, okay, that's great. So he's going to pick up the call. I wish I could just get to, to Castamere. Oh, all right. So the enemy scurried away from more than like frightened rabbits. Okay, so we had a big victory against the Serrets. That's good. 
All right. So, oh, we also got some prisoners, it looks like. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... Oh, what is this? So you want to take... You want him to be your vassal? I don't think so. No, this is just some weird scheme, you know. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Got a lot of little battles going on all over the place. No, we will not be doing that. I just have to put an end to this rebellion. Go, go, go. Okay, so this girl is coming up. Don't know exactly who she is. Arion has a lot of catching up to do, but so do I. I don't really know exactly what his position was. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, he's still plotting to kill Elena. Okay, we have to get rid of that. I don't know why he was so bent on killing him. Uh, should we call for Dragon Riders? I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. I don't know if Arion would be down for that. He might be okay with, like, Valerians doing it. Oh, good. Okay, so Mr. Edwell Keltigar has gotten my tyranny score down. All right, and my son, uh, I will get him... Oh, oh, for protection. Yeah, let's send him Mr. Delving. All right, here we go. So let us... Torch them. Deploy a dragon in siege. Jurakaris. Maybe we can even capture him. Oh, wow. They actually held up pretty well. All right, we'll have to wait for the second round here. Oh, my wife is pregnant. A little suspicious. Uh, you want to try and go for Mr. Horaces. No. I will not act against him. I don't know what is wrong with these people. I guess I don't have any loyalty for him, but it was weird when they would ask Aegon to do that for his own kids. That was super, super random. All right, what's up? What's up? I want to deploy a dragon in the siege again. Dracarys, let's go. Let's get him. All right, put him in irons. Uh, Yeah. Hire someone to find out if that's really my baby or not. All right, so let's put an end to this. War. Nice. All right. I kind of want to... Hmm. Well, I could take this as an opportunity to get rid of all of them. My guy's not wroth, but he is cruel. And he would probably put in the work. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to go after them. Let's take his head. Let's take his head. Let's take his head. Let's get her castle. Uh, the Lidden, where are they? Yeah. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and we will get our... As many as we can. As many troops as possible. All right. So he's not going... Yeah, most of them are probably going to rise up. But some of them... Oh, some of them didn't. All right, he's out there in the Stepstones. You know what? I can live with him for now. I'll let him bend the knee. Um, ah, this is the guy that had Castamere. Well, let's go ahead and feed this three-year-old to my dragon. All right. Actually, not that much. So most of them actually uh, accepted. That's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, so let's let's go ahead and go. Yeah, okay, so we get a couple of different fights here. So the main two are at Pain Hall and uh, the Serrets. Okay. Well, I need to get these wars over with, though, because we're probably going to have a lot of factions coming out against us uh, because we're so over our limits here. So i got to clean this up. Uh, yeah, let's blackmail the high towers for sure. Yeah, it sucks that I have to deal with simultaneously the Reach, the Stormlands, the Westerlands, and the Vale. I don't think I'm going to be able to manage all of that at the same time, but we're going to try. Oh, God. And the Faith of the Seven Uprising at Heart's Home, which is quite far away. Okay. Um, do I have any 
Dragon Rider. Maybe I should call for Dragon Riders. Yeah, we will call for Dragon Riders. We could use some more in our command. Uh, okay, so... You know what? Honestly, I'm going to fly out to King's Landing. Oh, he's my rival. That's why I've been trying to kill him. Where am I? Uh-huh. So I'm still there, but it won't let me leave, I guess, because I'm locked. Strange. No, it still won't let me fly over there. That's kind of weird. Uh, but okay, so let's, yeah, let's haul ass to Pain Hall. Okay, so we did get our hands on some of these lands here. So Drox Castle, for example. Okay, so this is, oh, uh, this is also part of the Golden Road. Okay, so we will go ahead and give you the rest of that title here. So you need uh, Hondosko and Drox Castle. So I will go ahead and give you Drox Castle and uh, Hondosko. Okay. So hopefully we can get him on our side. Okay. Oh my god. So we have proven that my wife Tyrion has a lover, Jamie Sarfield. This is high treason. Okay, should I point him to the King's Guard? <laughs> no. Uh can I imprison him? I can. Ah, but he escaped. Okay, can I imprison my wife? Yes. All right, so I'll go ahead and arrange a divorce. And she will just be in my prison here. And I will call her for trial. And now I need a new Master of Whispers. Uh, oh, this guy, Layman. Oh, I think this was my father's Master of Whispers. He's possessed, but he gets... Yeah, he was possessed by my father, but he gets the job done. Oh, maybe I should give him that land. Okay, good for him. Well, maybe I can give him some money and get him over to my side. Okay, cool. So that means I can free up two wives, possibly. Uh, okay, yeah, speaking of which, I should probably look around for some... Ooh, yeah. All of his sisters were killed by Aegon. He probably isn't too eager to for me to marry into his family. What about the Celtigars? You serve me well. You must have someone that I could perhaps marry. Ah, she's already betrothed. Well, there are other Celtigars and other Valerians, aren't there? They marry young, dude. They these these most of the AI they don't bother with dealing with that, but they, the Valerians, the Celticars, it's like a snap. Who the hell gave this away to the Royces? All right, I'm definitely going to have to get that back. Uh, maybe a Reharis. Oh, they also marry young. Damn, jeez. Okay. That's pretty whack. What about the scales? No. Hmm. What about the Orberans? Mm, Reina. What about you? Oh no, okay. Mm hmm. What about at Bram's Fort? Anyone available? No. Okay, well, maybe there's someone in my religion who would be down to clown. Ah, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, there's actually quite a few. Oh, here we go. Isle of Serpents. Uh, not the best match here. Oh, Mythios, maybe. Here we go. Oh, this is the... And I killed her brother. This would be a great match. Ah, okay, I can't do that. Oh, wait, can I marry her myself? I could do that. I don't know if she would ever get over that fact, though. Let me look for some more. So hold on. So uh, an adult. My. Oh, no, no. From a great house. My religion. 
not married women. All right, let's and and not rulers. Let's line them up. Okay, no, Coharis, that would be a good match. Can I get her out of jail? No. Who has her imprisoned? Kyle Snow. Interesting. Tardigar, she's old. Vena from the Blue Fork. Her grandparents were lords and ladies, but her father has been ousted, I guess. That's interesting. Yeah, we can go ahead and marry her. She's lustful. Hopefully make a lot of babies. And maybe help restore some of her family's prestige. Uh, then we have the Rinatheon family. Also had grandparents who ruled Seaguard. And what, they were ousted or something? Ah, yeah, there's a different family here now. Um, okay, we could get on board with that. All right, yeah, I gotta fill out my my wives list. Uh, okay, so let's continue. Ooh, okay, so I'm becoming rivals with a lot of my king's guard. All right, here comes the trial. So Alec of Strong Song is going to do his best to charge my wife. He stammered incoherently and made a horrible argument. Oh my god. Well, that's too bad. I guess I will just release her, but I don't understand that, but okay. Well, I guess maybe it's for the best, for the kids, you know. Two people eloped. Ooh, a Brindlewood and a Lefford. Well, it's matrilineal, so I can accept. I can accept this marriage. The Brindlewoods have been around for a long time. Okay, so, wait, hold on. So he joined the revolt? Why am I hostile with them? Uh, okay, so this guy has become Valerian. Not really sure why or how. Is he my squire or something? No. Who is he a squire to? I guess he's my squire. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, these guys are really pushing for Rose B. Uh, okay, so yes, we have an audience with her. Should I accept her offer? I guess I could use the money. Yeah, I'll let her go for now. And I also have a Grafton. Uh, as for this Grafton, I think I will also let her go. She was my father's prisoner. Yep, her family was all killed by me, it looks like, mostly. Does she have to... Why is she... Maybe she'll go away. We'll see. If not, I can maybe raise her up in the faith. Yeah, hopefully she can find God. And that God is me. Oh, look at that. My wife Prunella. Who's also my my lover is pregnant. That's great. We're gonna make more Targaryens, so that works for me. Okay, nice. So we got our army here at Pain Hall. I don't even need a dragon. Let's just clap him in iron. And I will take his lands. Okay. Yes, he will forfeit Pain Hall. Uh, and we also, oh, the Serrets, I guess, ended up standing down, or they just did independence. I don't really know. Um, okay, so let's go take care of these guys here. They're in the mountains, which will make things tricky, but. And Pain Hall is part of, it's also, God, that's a huge lordship. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so Pain Hall will also give to you. Okay, Castamir. Uh, I will give to Kozenka. Because I need to get rid of some of these lands, yeah. Alright, so House Kozenka, welcome to the High Lord Club. Good for you. Okay, so I guess these guys have just become independent or something? I'm not really sure, but let's put down this Faith of the Seven Revolt. And hopefully we'll have a little bit more sanity. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to also start revoking some titles, but I want to be at peace when I do it. We have to do it slowly. Because I don't want to repeat the mistakes of my father. Okay, Davin Hill has become Valerian as well. Not quite sure who he is either. He's Arnessa's bastard. 
Or, yeah, there's a bastard. And Arnessa is married to a Sarsfield. So my um, ex-wife, like, she, okay, she got remarried, but, like, she's still pregnant, right? With someone's baby? With this Sarsfield's baby. Ooh, I could plot to kidnap him. That would be interesting. What can I, how high can I get this plot power? Oh, reasonably high actually. A little bit of gold. Kind of a waste of gold, but could be cool. Get our hands on him. Ooh, I can do some dark divination. Let's give that a try. So this is a new thing for Arion. You and Storm Singer Malakwo spent the night performing the magic rites. It's probably teaching me how my father did it. Uh, you drank the resulting concoction from blood. And you finally found out that Lord Alistair Grafton is plotting to get the Kingdom of the Veil. OMG. We have a 31% chance of getting him. He might, he might rebel or flee. Let's see if maybe our chances improve after the war is over. Uh, we'll let him stew in guilt. Uh, you want to lead over T'Challa. Yeah, that sounds good to me. You have a better commanding score, and I don't even know who T'Challa is. Probably some Jogos Nai that my father let in. Okay, some new succession laws. No one cares about that. Uh, okay, what's going on here? So you, you still have a firm command on here, yeah, Coheris? Except for your daughter is in prison. Okay, so hopefully with our dragon, we will be able to defeat them. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, here we go. So Balerion is now ridden by... Uh, Junquil, my vassal. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, she's so young. Okay, so let's go ahead. I will make her a commander. And now we have a rider for Balerion. That is great. So where where is Junquil? Oh, or can I do drag... In, no shit. Okay, where is John Quill? John Quill. Uh, she was kind of young. I might not be able to make her a commander. Damn. Well, can I? I could revoke her title. She is my vassal, but what does this? Does this stop her from becoming a? A commander? Has to be male. Ah, has to have over 10 martial. Well, that's lame. So she tamed Balerion, but I guess she's just going to use him for magic. Ooh, okay. So it looks like after years of being, a few years of being king, I am not too happy about being around people. Okay. So, yeah, let's keep going. Uh... Oh, so Hyagon has built a lair. Something must be done about it. Yeah, let's call again for dragon riders. Oh, we can't, actually. Ooh, okay, so who should we send to protect my son and heir? I guess we'll send this Tullim guy. Hopefully, I don't know how loyal he will be, but he's a good fighter. His family used to be kings. Actually, no, not really kings. They used to be Lord Paramount. They used to be important. I guess we could say that. I don't think in this timeline they were ever rulers. Okay. So we're going to go up into the bloody gate. Hopefully we won't get destroyed. We have a similar amount of men. But I have a dragon. It is mountains. But I think that we can still use him, the dragon, in, yeah, Field of Fire. All right. Show me some good... Oh, a Scale. That would be interesting to have a scale on the command on the king's guard. It's a little crazy, but uh, hopefully he'll get the job done. And he's zealous, so he'll support me. I hope. Okay, now let's get the other one. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab Hearts Home first. Uh, no, you will not become the Lord of the Vale. Oh, look at that! I have a son, Daron, and he is strong. So let's go ahead and get him raised up as a warrior. Uh. I will not send him to Osmond, Tarly. Uh, maybe to Cleodin. Cleodin has been a long time commander for my father. He has served us very well. I think originally, actually, he was Faith of the Seven, but he has converted. 
I'm sure Arion is not too happy about how my father uh, kind of co-opted the Faith of the Seven and allowed it to be included in this pantheon. I'm sure he has different opinions about this. Oh, all right, nice. We get some dirt on Lady Mina. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so it looks like uh, this Harlaw has come to visit. And his father is the current lord of the Iron Islands, but he won't be for long since he's not Valerian. And he's made an impression on my wife. Oof, I hope that's not a bad thing. Oh, wow, he's a genius, lustful, very interesting guy. And he's the heir to the Iron Island. That's interesting. No, no part in the scheme. Oh, yeah, let's proceed with the plan to kidnap him. All right, so we have defeated him. I will go ahead and execute him the first chance I get. Uh, what's this? So, Master Jamin has found a letter from Sir Mors, who's trying to incite a revolt. Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. So, Dornish plot. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring our men down. Uh, we're pretty vulnerable at the moment, but we're at peace. Uh, I will go ahead and execute him, feed him to my dragon, Dracarys. All right, hopefully we will have things calm down. Ah, my plot failed. Oh, snap, my son has become a genius. Good for him. All right, so let's see how the map looks now that this is over. Okay, so we're actually going to have to declare war. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so for some reason the Koharis never swore fealty to me. Well, all right, so I think in the next episode, I will go ahead and get myself coronated. Uh, oh, and they want to put my nephew in charge. This is uh, Janar's kid. I wonder who killed them. I thought I always thought it was Arion, but it wasn't. So someone else had a hand in this. Um, we have a lot of provinces that went independent or they're dealing with something else. So in the next episode, guys, I think I'm going to coronate myself. And I'm going to try and revoke some of these smaller lords so we can further Valerianize the Stormlands, maybe even the Westerlands. I don't know if, how many of them would say yes, though. We have some maybes. I'll have to do this very carefully. Yeah, some of them yes, some of them maybe. Some of them straight up no. I think if we start with the yeses, the no's will turn into maybes, and the maybes will turn into yeses, and, and so on. So we'll see about that. Um, if I could find someone to say yes in the reach, I could build a power base for the new the person who I want to make the new Lord of the Reach. And I also need to get rid of High Garden. So that's going to be my main priority, is reducing my number of vassals. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good here. I, I think I just need to... I want to solidify my son's rules in the Stormlands and the Riverlands. And I have to set up someone in the Reach, but I don't know exactly who that will be. Maybe one of my daughters. Maybe I'll have them marry someone matrilineally or something. Oh, I guess Daron could also rule now that I have another son. Hmm, okay. So we have uh, a few options here, but very interesting. Um, very interesting. I think Arion is going to bring me a lot of headaches and a lot of problems. We'll see if Viserys will be any easier to deal with. Oh, he needs a new guardian. That's for sure. Oh, I'll send him up north to meet Uncle Baron. Uh, we also have to deal with the iron, the Ironborn in the Stepstones and in the Iron Islands. And I guess that's about it. So the North is under control. I also need to clean up the Vale a little bit. That's going to be hard as well. Any yeses? Yeah, okay. We have a couple of yeses here. Yeah, we got one. Got two, two yeses. Probably maybe one more. Yeah, okay. So we could probably set up someone in the Vale as well. Actually, maybe that's where we'll put Daron. 
I don't really know. This is going to be a tricky lift, but I think the problem is that Arian probably wants to push really hard for Valerianization compared to his father. But I don't think he can pull it off. He does He does not have Valerian. He does not have the same gravitas. He does not have his you know two sisters that also ride dragons. It's just him. So that's going to be hard for him. Uh, dragons are starting to get out all over the place, in fact. I mean, uh, I think now it used to be only Targaryens had dragons, and now it's not that way. So, for example, Aranon is on some random guy named John. I don't even know who he is. He's at Sharp Point. Malar is my dragon. Balerion is with that priestess. Meraxes is with uh, my mom. Oh, okay. So my mom... My mom's marshal's too low. Uh, Isilgor is with this random guy. Don't know who he is. I wonder if I give him money. Will he come to my court? No, so... There you go. Uh, oh, I could give him land. Ooh, maybe if I give him Velos, I can make him a commander. Can I make him a commander now? Uh... Okay, this is... I don't understand that. Hold on. Maybe I'll do that later. This is episode getting kind of long. Mm. I've definitely seen people with under 10 Marshall. So, oh, he's old Valerian. That's why. Okay. So he does not accept me as a as as a spiritual leader, so I don't think Arian would be too happy about that. Uh, oh, okay, my brother Ariax has a dragon. That's good. And Maycal is with my aunt. Ah, okay, that's good. All right, and she is in Dari, which is in the Riverlands. Okay, so we still have some Targaryens, and then, of course, we have um some wild ones and stuff. And my nephew has a dragon egg. So... We got some wild cards out there with dragons, but I'm definitely not in the same position that my father was when it comes to dragons. So I don't know if he sees that. I mean, I am a bookish guy and hardworking, but he's proud and religious and cruel. So interesting to see how Arion will rule. Um, but you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to keep watching me play as Arion. I think I'll try a few more episodes, see how it goes. Um, right now, I'm having fun. The hardest part is always starting up with a new ruler especially when it's such a big land but all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one